Welcome to one of the last great relics in the NFL, Arrowhead Stadium, for this exciting matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, partner, I know how you like to, quote-unquote, manage the broadcast. <laughs> Well, that's okay. true. But what about these quarterbacks who are trying to manage the game? You don't like that. I hate. Well, I hate the term, Jim. It takes away. We're saying, oh, we don't think they have enough talent to get it done, but they really do. Managing the game is an art in itself. That's part about being a good quarterback, and these guys do it as well as anybody. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. They have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. to the line and it's first down wasting no time here's the toss to the outside now the play is there to be made but the offensive player doesn't get it done bad job on first down big set here for the defense lining up in the four six second down 14 ball is out they recover their own fumble it's a safety to try his luck here. That brings the play to an end. The Chiefs line up in the pistol offense. First and ten. Charles is handed the football. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The running back goes in motion. Second and 14, Smith play action. He had touchdown, Chiefs. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Chiefs with an extra point try on the way. He made it. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. And he was wide open. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Ohio! Ohio! They've got a first down now after that catch. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Ohio. The 
Chiefs defense packs it in now, going with the 46. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Green's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The throw to the left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. down play coming up but want to be sure about what they want to do here so they burn a timeout Flex round, flex round. wide receivers are bunched up the pass. A.J. Green with the catch. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs. It's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. First down here. Jamal Charles carries the football. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. This will be second down. Let's go. Quarterback drops back, play action. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. This is third down. With two hands, he has it. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. They lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten, and they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Wide to the left. That juke gets him some space. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Charles is lined up as the single back. Second and six, back to the ground. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Third and three. Here's the quick toss. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Play number six coming up on this drive. 
First and ten. Back to the ground, running to his right. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. And now they'll try over again on second down. But the hit knocks the ball out, incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. They come out in the dime package. Third and eight. Catches made by Dwayne Bowe. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. You knew this was going to happen. There's the red flag, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. Offense lines up here. First and goal, and they'll run the football with Charles. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. The Chiefs' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Mounting a serious drive. And the second quarter is underway. He's in for the touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown. It's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Chiefs for the extra point. Looking across the middle, got a touchdown, got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Brand the tape with a chance to run back this kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. It's handed to the running back. Eric Berry comes up to make the play. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Middle. Second down following the run. Just a quick drop back. Escaping the pressure. And here he goes. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. First down, following the long play. They give it to the running back. Now, makes the move to the right. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. 
That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Another handoff. Slashing to the right side. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. He had no time to get set. Well, the protection was bad. The quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Lined up now as a slot receiver. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Touchdown. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. The Bengals for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Now first and ten. Jamal Charles. He's into the open. What a run by Charles. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. No margin for error from just outside the goal line, bringing the play to an end. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second down. The play clock's running down. Jamal Char and he's across for the touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after The Chiefs lined up now for the point after. Extra point is good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The receiver in the slot. First and ten. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. No one in sight has the grab. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. 
Ball is caught, and it's Eric Berry who brings him down. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Two-minute warning. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. The quarterback will hand it off to the right side. Gain of two. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Seven. The Bengals get a first down. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. The Bengals lined up in the pistol. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun, and they sack the quarterback. Pressure the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz. It was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. The Bengals will go with the pistol on this play. The wide receiver, shifting around in motion, sticks to his hands. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The shotgun looking to the right side and throwing. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Big moment here for the defense. Lined up in the 46 defense. Second and goal from the three. They'll run it off the toss. Short run, and it's a touchdown. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can their defense come out and help them out? the Bengals for the point after. Oh, it's a fake! The so, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Charles is lined up in a single back formation. First and 10. Alex Smith looking long, and he's intercepted. In on the stop. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. A.J. Green there with sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You gotta be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense.
lined up in the pistol formation. Johnson's got it in the gun. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Under two minutes to go in the half, and that means we've got a booth review. Took a moment for them to validate it, but the word comes back from the replay booth. The play Let's on the field Let's will roll. stand. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. That catch gives them a first down. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Working that left side. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. So that's going to do it for the first half. Chiefs are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Chiefs are leading by nine. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. I got a chance to quickly speak with Derek Johnson at halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. receiving team has the recovery. The Chiefs in the pistol. And now here's the first snap of the second half. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Chiefs will approach this play from out of the pistol. Second and 11. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. Third and 10. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. You're near midfield, it's fourth down, what do you do? I got the answer right here, you punt it. Play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And he's going to be brought down. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. Lined up in the pistol formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the catch inbound. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Running a little college-like option. This play just takes so long. That's why it doesn't work too often in the NFL. Fast defenses. The quarterback makes the fake. He tosses the football outside to the runner. Nowhere to go, and he loses yards on the play. He 
all that time, the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. The Bengals line up in the pistol offense. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Incompletion on that hurry throw. The Bengals lined up in the pistol. Second and ten, going across the middle. And he makes the catch. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Here's the first snap after the big play. And he's forced to the ground. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the step count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. The wide receiver in motion. Eyeing that left side. Touchdown. This game is tight. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there. They get to catch the football. They get to score touchdowns. They get to do dances. And you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. And he's going to pitch it here. So for two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Bengals ready for action. They're all over him at the 18-yard line. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Makes the reception. Slips past one player. Gains 19. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. That reception gave them the first down. Setting up screen. Under pressure and incomplete. down here the give to the running back and he is tackled down at the 38 yard line that's a terrible read by the running back it's a short game but it's all his fault he picked the wrong hole he should have cut it back he didn't and that's why he was tackled the Chiefs will go with the pistol on this play third and nine He'll fire it out to the left. And he's almost intercepted. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. The Chiefs in the pistol. Alex Smith's going to take it from the shotgun. 
reaches out and snatches it. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. Set up now at the 46. The Chiefs will come to the line, trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and nine. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Let's go. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Stands in the pocket. Alex Smith looking long. There's a receiver there, and the catch is made. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. This will be the eighth play of this drive. First and goal. Under fire on that throw. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bengals official. Leon Hall's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Bound to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Brings it in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. This works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. He'll step out of bounds. Ohio! Ohio! Now in first down, they hand it off to the running back. To the right, Eric Berry makes the tackle. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays. Well, you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Throws to the right on the spot. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He'll throw it over the middle. Jones going to pull in the bullet pass. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, 
uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. After the long game, let's see what they do here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Touchdown and drawing close. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. <laughs> Makes the PAT. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Bengals official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. down here fires it and they're incomplete anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the nfl they're worried about getting hit don't lead them too far in a slant route just throw it right at them Chiefs will approach this play from out of the pistol. And they'll run the football with Charles. Charles is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The pass was more than made, but he's beyond the first down marker. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The clocks really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Jamal Charles. Shrugs off the first hit and picks up the first. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. They better hurry to get the snap. Jamal Charles carries the football. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Second down, three to go. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses in the promised land. Touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. And it's a fake. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Ryan Suckup, ready for the kickoff. And 
he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And it's Derek Johnson who makes the stop. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game, uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side. It's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. And it's intercepted, which should all but wrap up this game. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Second down following that incompletion. Flip to the outside. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The Bengals signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Let's go. Third down on the way. Smith's got the football after the play fake. Right down Broadway. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This play set up by the long gainer. Takes a knee. Second down coming up. Takes a knee. Lining up for a 35-yard field goal. That encroachment penalty gives the offense a free five yards. Yeah, when you play offense in the NFL, you take all the free yards you can get. That is a, that's a, just a good break for the offense right there. Chip shot here. There is a flag down, and it's blocked. It's blocked. He stacked up at that point. Offside defense. The defense, a little jumpy right there. That's going to do it here in this one. Phil, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a 